first started painting, I didn't do any of that. I just like started painting and I of course look back at my old work and I cringe, but uh, I definitely had the inspiration. I just lacked the technical knowledge. And over the years I've gained the technical knowledge and now I teach the technical knowledge to other people. But I would say they're equally as important because if you're trying to follow this joy and, and that's going to lead you to these things that you're meant to paint and that excite you and that are going to make you fall in love with art, you might not be able to execute it properly if you don't have the technical foundation, right? And you might get disappointed and then discouraged and then you might stop. So I think I would say have a balance of finding your inspiration and your joy as an artist and following that, but also hunkering down, learning, taking some courses. Uh, my name is Ricky Shade and I am an artist. I love painting, drawing, sculpting. Uh, I work as a fine artist. I exhibit and sell my work. I also work as an art instructor and as the manager at an art studio in town here. Just have to... Every once in a while you gotta take a step back. There's a few different styles of art that I make usually. Uh, a lot of it is very fantasy based, but then I also love doing wildlife art, like realistic wildlife art. Ever since I was a kid, I've always loved animals. I loved like my stuffed animals and going to the zoo and learning about animals. I wanted to be a marine biologist or like a scientist. And uh, I was always fascinated by animals. And so a lot of my inspiration comes from nature. And then another one of my big sort of things I loved growing up was fantasy, like the Lord of the Rings and the Aragon book series and uh, Wheel of Time and all these different fantasy series also fueled my imagination. So I kind of, a lot of my work is like animals, but almost like in a storybook kind of scenario where you could almost see like a story happening with elements of fantasy and kind of like magic and uh, lots of like glowing lights and things like that in my work. So definitely a lot of it is from nature and also from the fantasy that I was exposed to growing up. And then also now like living life, every new life experience is like fuel in the fire or I often think of it almost like a garden. So my creative mind is like this garden and what's mostly growing in the garden is all those seeds that were planted when I was a kid, right? That have grown into these big structures now, but still new seeds are being planted, new water and fertilizer is being poured on the garden from different life experiences. So a combination of nature, childhood and everyday life greatest memories of my own childhood were my dad showing me painting and so my dad was like an art or is an artist as a hobby right and when I was little he would set me up with like a little tile to paint on and show me about painting and he would draw things with me and stuff like that and those were always my best memories as a child was making art with my dad and so that's definitely why I love teaching so much because I, I see those memories being formed in the kids that come to my classes and it's a really great way to build confidence in children. A lot of children lack confidence and when they come to an art class and see that they can make this cool thing, it builds confidence and that confidence leaks into all other areas of their life, makes them better socially, makes them better at school, gives them these beautiful memories that maybe one day they'll look back on and think, I really loved those times as a kid making art with Ricky. For me, the act of creating something is just like really beautiful and sacred almost. It's almost like a spiritual thing for me. I'm a pretty like skeptical and, and rational person uh, now, but definitely when I was younger, I was a lot more of like a hippie for sure. And a lot of my motivation was very spirituality based in making the artwork and it still is. I'm just a little bit more grounded now, but to me, the act of creating something is, it's like connecting to like the creative energy of the universe. I really feel when I'm making a piece of art that it's like, there's one part of it that is me making the piece of art, but there's this whole part of it that's not me. It's like this other force that I'm like pulling from and taking from, and that's kind of moving through me. Like I'm never in total control of it. So for me, like what motivates me to make the art is that connection to like 
what I'll call the creative spirit of the universe. And also it, it almost feels like a lot of it is like journeying through my subconscious mind. The way the images come through sometimes is very intuitive and not super planned out. So sometimes like it, it almost feels like I'm learning who I am better through making the art and exploring my own mind. So that's another really motivating factor. And I just think, yeah, it's also a lot of fun. I love doing it for fun, for the spiritual reasons I described. And also I love the craft of painting and drawing and I love getting better at it and learning more about it. And I would be lying if I said that receiving praise for my art was also not a motivating factor because I love people saying, whoa, you made that or like, that's amazing. It makes me feel good. So that's definitely another reason. So I would say all those things combined. And at this point now, it's like my whole life is based around this art. And it's like I've got this studio here. I have no excuse not to do it. It's just like a part of who I am now. And I'll never stop like there's no way I could stop I can take little breaks but I'll never stop it's like at this point it is who I am so no matter what it's going to be happening. So if you want to learn more about me and my work, you can visit my website, www.rickyshade.com. On Instagram, I'm Ricky Shade. On TikTok, I'm rickyshade.art. And I think that's it for my social media on Facebook, uh, Ricky Shade Artist. So go follow me, visit my website, check out my work. I've got lots of stuff up there for you to see.